Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily live get-together here on Facebook at 10.30 in the morning, where we examine headlines, comments, topics, suggestions, questions, ideas you may have about Puerto Vallarta, about Mexico, about our lives here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. It is always a pleasure to get together with you every morning and figure out what everybody's up to, what kind of questions we can answer, and so forth and so on. If you are new to these broadcasts, uh, my name is Paco, and we uh, love to learn from new friends that join our little cluster, our morning cluster. So you can let us know that you are new by writing the word new in your comments and suggestions, and we'll be so very happy to offer you a proper welcome. And also, if you have any important questions or comments that you wish to um, address during the broadcast, it helps a lot if you um, add the letter Q at the beginning of your question or comment. So here we are. Today is going to be an interesting day. We have news about vaccines. We have news about um, face masks. Uh, let Ah, excuse me. That felt good. We have news about face masks. We have news about um, vaccines. We have news about shops in town that are relocating. All kinds of interesting things. Um, let me take a quick look um, at some of your first comments and let's find out who's in the house. Um, lots of good mornings this morning, as always. Uh, Jeannie is here. Good morning, Jeannie. I like the little flower and the plant. Um, let's see. Uh, Judy is anxious to spend time with me. Well, Judy, I'm anxious to spend time with you. I mean, here we are getting together. Nothing better to do. Um, let's see. Que onda, Paco? Yes, Larry Flint left us. What an important... Um, controversial figure and what what a life Jesus what a life uh, Enrique is joining us from Los Angeles good morning uh, oh Paula you got ahead of me uh, and yes we are going to talk about Maria Grever uh, uh, in a little while yes I did see that in Google and it's one of the headlines um, let's see shout out to to Siam Cuisine. This is great to hear. Um, um, and um, well, I'm not surprised that tourists continue to have to be asked to put masks on. Unfortunately, it is one of those um, one of those things. Uh, happy that over 60 plus restrictions will not be extended. Um, I hope this is the case Stephanie if you read this somewhere and it is confirmed by the government I would love to find out where you read it um, because these announcements are not supposed to be made public until tomorrow um, and I cannot even um, certify that um, that this is the case I don't think anybody really knows Michael says love the shirt thank you very much Walmart was on sale I tell you I tell you, let's see what else we have here. Um, Versailles checking in. <laughs> Just finished a pandemic trim of Kathy's bangs. Didn't do too badly. I love it. Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you here. And lots of great vibes from all kinds of friends. My sister sends us flowers and sunshine. Thank you very much, Gorda. Te quiero. Uh, let's see. I am going to start before the news. I have to. Oh, I have tried the government site to register for vaccine, but doesn't work. Yes, Dana, uh, the, the government site is taking a lot of requests. All I can tell you is keep trying. Uh, I know from friends that are, are being successful and it's just a matter of patience and trying. Um, uh, did I film the Mercurio Swim video, Como Lavar Tu Traje de Baño? Yes, that is one of my productions, and, uh, and it's one of the most popular ones that we've done. Uh, thank you very much for that. And if anybody else is curious about this particular video, I'll be happy to show it here uh, on Coffee and Headlines. It's gotten a lot of praise. Just write the word Mercurio uh, in your comments because I wouldn't want to, um, you know, to hit you with that. Uh, is the news from New York Times true? Mexico has run out of oxygen. Well, Sally, I'm breathing just fine. 
Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm sorry. You say we run out of oxygen. I had to be funny. Sorry, sorry. Um, I don't know if we've run out of oxygen, actually, because I'm not in a hospital. I am not um, in need of oxygen beyond the air that I breathe. Um, I certainly hope it's not true, but I cannot confirm nor deny. Um, oh, okay, okay, I hear you, I hear you. I'll whip out that Mercurio um, video and I'll share it with you. How about Sunday Funday? Sunday Funday, because it is a funny video and it is more uh, suitable for, for Sunday Monday. Sunday Funday, Jesus. But speaking of Sunday Funday, even before we get into the news, I would love to share... Um, um, the comments that you post only show two lines longer ones are not finished on the screen. Tony, I think that's great news because when people just write and write and write and write and write and write and write, you know, I think it challenges us to be very compact in our ideas. I have very little control over that. Um, Stephanie thought that I was funny. Thank you very much because I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, Team Fan tells us that he loved Jorge in that video. I'll bring the video in. I'll bring it in for Sunday Fun Day, I promise. Anyhow, I want to uh, share a funny story that happened to me yesterday. It was about eight o'clock at night and I found myself, um, you know, doing my evening routine, which involves drinking red wine and answering or acknowledging some of the comments or all of the comments that you post on the video. And I was feeling, uh, if I may say so, fairly good about myself. In fact, I was really, really happy and felt very blessed because we got, a lot of positive remarks from yesterday's Walking Wednesday video and the visit to uh, the visit to Eric Robb's uh, joint co-working hotel, and and I was feeling just grateful that you are here, that you enjoy the things that Luna and I put together, and I wrote a little chat message to Eric Robb of um, of the co-working hotel. Um, and I wanted to thank him for being such a blank host and in letting me in with a camera and answering my questions. And when I say blank, I mean I used an adjective that I know in Spanish means wonderful, um, amazing, etc., etc. But then I had a pothead moment and I figured, well, number one, does this word even exist in English? And number two, does it mean the same thing? And it's a good thing that I asked myself that because I very quickly um, went and looked at the definition of this word in English and I was alarmed to find out that the definition of the word is different enough in English to qualify as a questionable praise. And if you are wondering what word that was, I'm going to show it to you on the screen right now. Bam, formidable in Spanish means that it has a high grade positive quality or characteristic. And I said to Eric, you guys were formidable in welcoming me yesterday. But then I looked at the definition in English, causing fear, apprehension, or dread of discouraging or awesome strength, size, difficulty, etc., intimidating. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not at all what I mean. So I immediately... Um, uh, wrote to Eric and I said, whoops, pothead moment, that's not what I meant, and we both laughed about it. Um, but that is my little anecdote of how sometimes words that may have had the same meaning at the beginning of their use have differed in the way they are used in different languages. Um, the end. That was my little anecdote from this morning, and, um, and we will get into other aspects of communication in English and Spanish in a little while. But let us get started with the news. Um, I want to, uh, oh, definitely, definitely. Thank you very much for that, Matthew. Um, come on, show me Matthew's comment. Um, I, I'm finding that in this new system, sometimes the comments don't really want to appear, and that's what makes me start schwitzing. Um, so I'm hoping that the, the comments will come back in a second. Let me try this one. Boom. Fascinating. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to have to wing it as um, I don't see. The, you see, this happened to me the other day. I tried to show your comments and sometimes they showed and sometimes they didn't. I'm going to pretend this is not happening and let us get started with the news. Um, for starters, I want to let you know that um, 
the Chinese COVID-19 vaccines Sinovac and CanSino have been approved for emergency use in Mexico. Uh, this was stated by Health Undersecretary Hugo lopez Gatel in his daily co uh, press conference. This is good news, although I'm starting to lose track of all the vaccines and, and forgetting which ones are the good ones and the not so good ones, and whether they're good for certain age groups or not. I'll just be happy when we're able to get the darn things um, applied into our bodies, I suppose. But along those lines, one of the two vaccines that were approved uh, the CanSino vaccine is expected to arrive today in a large container that will be sent to Querétaro, uh, to a Querétaro-based laboratory, where they will be bottled and distributed. In his Twitter account, Foreign Affairs Chancellor Marcelo Ebrard confirmed that two million doses of the vaccine will be produced from this shipment, and they will be subsequently distributed through Mexico. <clears throat> so. Uh, so this is good news, more vaccines arriving in the country. Uh, and of course, we just uh, announced a couple of days ago that the Pfizer vaccine is also going to start shipping again, starting on, I believe it was the 14th or the 15th of this month. So there are vaccines, there are vaccines. Steve says that the, the Cantino vaccine would be a gamble. Again, we're not here to um say that one is better than the other uh and i certainly doubt that once it comes time to go to the doctor we will be presented with a menu would you like this vaccine or would you like the other i don't think there is a perfect vaccine um and uh you know we'll just have to see what happens there uh last but not least in the more formal news items that i have to share with you this one gave me a headache because now the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are announcing that two masks are better than one to slow spread of COVID-19. Um, apparently, they did a lab experiment in which they placed two artificial heads six feet from each other and found that one mask is good to block around 40% of the particles coming towards the breathing head, whereas if you're wearing two face masks, um, 80% uh, of the particles were blocked. Um, personally, I would be happy if more of the population would at least wear one face mask, but what can I tell you? That's just me. Um, we're just sharing the news as they come. I have a hard time sometimes breathing with one mask, so that the idea of wearing two of them seems absolutely dreadful. Um, uh, and um, let's see, I'm gonna take a quick look at your comments before we move on to the weather and whatnot. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Did you ask why the price went up or just assume the worst? Perhaps the price went up because the supply is low and they, I don't, I, this must be vaccine related. I'm not entirely following this. Um, the Facebook group Puerto Vallarta, everything you need or want to know has a post by Tricia Lyman that discusses the lifting of the current restrictions this weekend. Um, of course, and everything that we read in Facebook is what we should follow. I respect Tricia tremendously. I adore her and I admire all the work that she does with her group, but I have, I, we know for a fact that restrictions get lifted tomorrow. However, you may remember that last time that restrictions were to be lifted, they were simply extended. So the fact that the current restrictions are lifted tomorrow does not automatically guarantee that we are going to go back to the way things were two weeks ago or four weeks ago. All we know is that, um, uh, all we know is that tomorrow, the governor is going to make announcements for long-term decisions as to how we are going to continue living through the pandemic. We don't know what those announcements are. We don't know what they're going to be. Of course, I hope that um, part of the announcements include that people over 60 can go shopping. In fact, the government of our state um, went into a little kerfuffle with the National Human Rights Commission because the Human Rights Commission came to the state of Jalisco and said, well, it's not, it's not nice for you to 
discriminate against seniors and the state went back to the Human Rights Commission and said, get out of the way, this is for their own safety and you know that, and the state won. So bottom line is, yes, tomorrow the restrictions change, but we don't know what they're going to change to. So stay tuned, uh, place your bets, and let's hope that we find out uh, soon enough how our lives are gonna fare in the next few months. Uh, let's see, Cancino Vax, can, Casino. <laughs> Ronnie Lee says, Cancino vaccine, a gamble joke. Well, I would love to see you refuse it. And when you're standing in line after hours and hours of waiting to be vaccinating, um, unless you don't want to be vaccinating at all, uh, I remind you kindly, um, Ronnie, that unless you are a um, biologist or a medical person or et cetera, et cetera, we'd like to keep these kinds of generic, ungrounded comments as limited as possible, unless you're an expert. If you're an expert, please let us know why it is funny. Uh, a joke, anyhow. Uh, Casa Bellavista says, wouldn't trust anything out of, out of China. That's your choice. Again, I would love to see you standing in line, waiting for the vaccine for hours and hours, and then you're about to be vaccinated with a Chinese thing, and you're like, ooh, 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 I want to run away. Um, but again, that's your choice. That's your choice. Um, Jorge doesn't believe anything the CDC says anymore. Your choice again, good for you. Anarchy, anarchy at Coffee and Headlines, I love it. Uh, there was a pun for me that went over my head. Honey, I'm trying to do a broadcast and reading commentary and switching from one screen to another. It's not that simple. So if something goes over my head, you know, it is, um, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, let's see, I, Double mask whenever I shop or go to the post office. Good for you, Michael. Let's see. Oh, you're trying to explain something about the gambling in the casino. Uh, whoosh! It's just going over my head. It must be Thursday. Anyhow, um, let's see. Where were we? Weather. Yes. Let's switch over to the weather before we get too uh, disconnected from what we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, let's see, it is 18 degrees now, and the weather forecast for today is uh, partly cloudy skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon. We mentioned rain yesterday. Tonight, we're going to have light rain through the night. There's a 50% chance of rain, so um, get your umbrellas out, I suppose. And then tomorrow, Friday, we are going to expect partly cloudy skies in the morning with a temperature of 23 degrees during the day. Tomorrow night, light rain through the night with a 28% chance of rain, low temperature 17. And then Saturday, rain in the morning with overcast skies, uh, high temperature of 23. And Saturday night, overcast skies through the night uh, with a low temperature of 16 degrees. Uh... <laughs> Christine Marine says, uh, no, don't worry, Christine. I'm not stressed. I'm not stressed. If I get sweaty, I just start um, drinking wine. But I know that this is not the time to drink wine. I just get sweaty because I get sweaty. I get nervous when I'm doing these broadcasts. <laughs> I don't know why. I shouldn't, but that's okay. Um, moving right along with more headlines than I want to share with you is da, 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 weather oh yes this is good news we heard from or we noticed on uh, facebook that arte viviente is relocating arte viviente is the very popular el centro shop offering arts and crafts products created by locals they are moving to a new location or have moved to a new location and they are celebrating their opening tomorrow the new shop is located at matamoros 224 and then this new location features four floors, four stories actually, of art, fashion, accessories, home decor, and organic products. I cannot picture exactly where this is located, but if they have four stories, that is twice as many stories as they had before. So I'm very happy for all the, the, the members of this co-op so that they can continue selling their furnishings. We wish them very good luck in what they're doing. Another news item that caught my attention is the fact that Elon Musk's Starlink internet service is coming to Mexico later on this year. 
uh, the initial coverage for this internet service will be av available in Guadalajara and the state of Mexico at a cost of $99 per month. Uh, apparently, one is able to visit the website and pre-register to receive this service. I went into the website to see what the fuss was all about. Of course, we know that Elon Musk's company has been uh, wallpapering the surroundings of our planet with satellites so that we can have a satellite-based internet around the globe. This, of course, pisses off astronomers that are trying to get a glimpse of the starry sky. But what can I tell you? Anyhow, I went into the website and, um, and tried to see what the sign-up process was like and they expect you to pay up front so i went like no way jose i'm not paying up front for something that i don't even know i need and something that is not going to be available in mexico until the end of this year but of course as always i'm going to leave the links for you to take a look at if you want to take a look at these um you're more than welcome to uh in my next uh headline and somebody already shared it here in the cluster is the fact that Google Doodle celebrates uh, celebrates the Mexican singer and composer Maria Griver, uh, who wrote over 800 songs, but we know her from uh, What a Difference a Day Makes, 24 Little Hours. <laughs> you know, do you know that song? Well, it was originally written in Spanish. Um, and the title in Spanish is Cuando Vuelva a Tu Lado, and that means When I Come Back to You. Um, and it's a beautiful song by Maria Griver, and it's one of her songs that has crossed over so famously, uh, formidably. <laughs> See, in Spanish, we would say that it has crossed over to the United States English-speaking because of the English-speaking version. We could say in Spanish that it, it has crossed over in a formidable way, but in English, it might not work out too well. We have learned this uh, from last night. Anyhow, <clears throat> this makes me think of so many Mexican songs that we don't know came from Mexico. This is yet another subject that we can discuss at some point here in Coffee and Headlines. Um, two more headlines for you, and the first one being our five things to do this weekend that comes from the New York Times. This came today. Today is Thursday, but there are five things mentioned from classical Indian dance to a virtual Valentine's Day comedy show. As always, the New York Times offers suggestions for five things to do online this weekend. In a difference of operations from the, be from the beginning of the pandemic, everything at the beginning of the pandemic used to be free. And now a lot of people are starting to, of course, charge for their performances, and that makes perfect sense. So if you find something that you... Um, enjoy there. Well, that'll be fantastic. Uh, let me see. We have one more, but I'm going to leave that till the very end because it's actually very funny, or at least it's funny to me. Let me take a quick look through your latest comments just to see if we're not missing anything important. I can't wait to go back to read the whole thread in order because I totally missed what this pun was about. Uh, let's see... It's always time to drink wine, says Michael. I would drink to that, but I am drinking coffee. Joe Willis says wine o'clock here at, uh, at Luna's house. Uh, we have wine o'clock. We have brownie o'clock. We have chilaquiles o'clock. We have all kinds of o'clocks here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Musk satellite pollution needs to stop and come down. Oh, I totally get that, Michael. There's a lot of people that praise his work, and there's a lot of people that oppose it. It is a complicated matter, I believe. Um, ha! Nothing from China. Get rid of all those electronics. Enough said. I think that's really funny. And I'm glad to see that you are here, Tony, because the last headline of today has everything to do with you. Uh, and um, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, watching the series Bloodline, it's pretty good. Bloodline is amazing. I'm also watching a Netflix. There's a new documentary series about spycraft, and I am like on episode three, and it is absolutely fascinating. Uh, let's see what else. Weed o'clock. Weed o'clock. Well. I call it brownie o'clock because 
I choose to brownify myself rather than weedify myself. Um, I love when it's chilaquiles o'clock. David, let me tell you my chilaquile fantasy. My chilaquile fantasy happens when I know that I'm going to be home all day long, I have nothing to do, no one to talk to, nothing complicated. It's just Luna and I, and I will make a huge batch of chilaquiles. But in, instead of using regular uh, canola oil or whatever oil I use, I use my happy oil, and that keeps me happy through the day. So chilaquile time is heavenly. Um, <clears throat> Yesterday, I mentioned a bartering do's and don'ts. We'll be, be doing a show about this. Absolutely, Julie. Absolutely, Julie. We're going to be talking about bargaining, not so much bartering, bargaining. We're going to talk about the, the time-honored art of regateo in Spanish, which is when you bargain with a salesperson. There are places where it's okay to bargain. There are other places where it's not. And, uh, and we are going to talk about this. Um... Actually, mine's usually a cookie. Weed just sounds better. <laughs> Good for you, Santiago. Okay, so the last headline that I want to show with you is funny and endearing and fascinating and complicated. Yesterday, I received a, a lovely message from Tony Favela, who, te quiero. Tony, you are a sweet man, and I love it because you are always sending me good stuff to feature here at Coffee and Headlines. And yesterday... Uh, Tony sent me this headline that was published by Mexico Life that was, uh, that the, the title is Want to Speak Like a Native? Learn the Language of Mexico's Hand Gestures, it says. Um, so I was really curious about this article and I quickly went to see it. And of course, there are the four photographs at the beginning of the article that show some of the hand gestures that we use. But then I figured um, the article I was looking forward to a video, video demonstrations, because what the article does is it goes on and on and on and describing all these hand gestures and, and they like move your hand to the left and slightly twist your fingers and that indicates this and that and the other. I got lost. I got lost through the article. So I figured if I'm getting lost, how are my cluster friends going to feel? So what we're going to do is we're going to... <laughs> We're going to react to this article, and, and we're going to react to this article on Sunday Funday so that we know exactly what this means. I just insulted you in a horrible way, by the way. Um, but um, rather than trying to handhold you through the instructions of the article, we are going to demonstrate all these things that we do like this and like this and like this and all kinds of things that we do. Uh, and that will be <laughs> that will be fun, I hope. If not, you know, it is what it is. One tries. Let me take a quick look at your comments before we get going. Good Lord, what a nice day today. I don't see when it's going to be rainy. I looked out the window and it's absolutely sunny. Uh, let's see. We talked about that. Uh, thanks to you, Sherry. I sure do love seeing you here. And I've been watching how you've been having a good time connecting with a bunch of locals. Uh, it's fun to read you. Um, Michal is watching Borg, Borgen? Borgen. Borgen. I don't know. D Danish show about politics and drama. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Uh, try my chilaquiles from Oaxaca. Fernando, anytime. Anytime. Uh, my clock stops when it hits tequila o'clock. I hear you, Alan, and I'll drink to that. Absolutely. Um, let's see. For all the negatives in our daily life. Well, Stephanie, mm, Stephanie, you bring a lot of joy to me, too. It's, it goes one way and it comes back. It comes back. Absolutely. Um, uh, yes, it does mean codo, and that means cheap, Gigi, but it can also be... Uh, there you go. I think... Um, Jorge, Jorge got, Jorge nailed it. You know, if you go like this and you have an angry face, like, <laughs> that means go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh. And Carmen says, y regateo, like reggaeton. I think it depends on the market that you went to. Um, and we will have fun with that on Sunday. Carmen, it's always great to see you. Carmen and Claudia are dear friends that used to own 
um, el Arrayán and are now doing all kinds of mysterious, fabulous things that we cannot announce just yet. But um, I am, I, we, we love them. We love them. I can't wait till Sunday either, Michael. Sunday is always a lot of fun. Uh, is Sunday Valentine's Day? Oh, shit. Sunday's Valentine's Day. Don't you guys go out? Don't you guys go out and celebrate because, you know, don't be, don't, no, no, that those celebrating Valentine's Day, bad idea. Celebrate at home. If you're going to be home with your loved ones, stay home and stoop, stoop. That's what you should do. If you go out and go have dinners and go to crowded places, that's what happens when the COVID unleashes its wrath. So stay home, stay home. Um, I think we are done. Yes, I think we are done. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Today, I am going to spend the afternoon with a computer doctor just to find out what the fate of my laptop is going to be. And I am trying a new... No, I'm not going to tell you. Well, I'm trying to do some improvements to Walking Wednesday. And I got a great tip from a YouTube video that I saw on a new and interesting way to make walking tours more fabulous. And I am just itching to try this. So today I start my experimenting. I still don't know where we're going to walk this Wednesday, but something wonderful will come up either through my own wacky inspiration or Luna may suggest something or you may suggest something. Either way, um, we'll see what happens. And of course, uh, thank you very much for that, Michael. And of course, Logan says, stay home and stoop is excellent advice for any day. <laughs> I'll drink to that and um, I'll drink to you. Please stay kind, stay calm, stay well protected, um, stay happy and fabulous. And hopefully we'll get together sometime in the near future, maybe even tomorrow. Have a good one. <laughs>